Hi guys, today I'm here to teach you the introduction to get you started with Motoko programming language. And to get started, you have to open your terminal and create your app or let's say your, your project. So in order to create a project, you, you write our DFS you know, and the name for our project. Let's call my project People's Bank. Post bank. And I, I'll tap enter. So from here, it is going to install all the dependencies to get started using my project. So let's wait for it to finish installing all the dependencies, and I'll see you after it's done. So now my dependencies are done installing and all I have to do is to CD into the project so CD the project. and then I'll open it my, with my test editor so for me I'll be using VLC so code so there are two there is one extension that I recommend you install on your extension stack so that it will help you code with me too. So this is the extension and I've already installed it. So let's start. So we are going to write all our code inside the SLC and the people's bank folder. And here we can see uh, an automatic created uh, Motoko project for us so, and in this project we are going to see a, start, a startup code so because they are about to start we are going to delete all this code and start so in order to start programming So in order to start programming in Motoko, you have to first create your class and in creating class in Motoko, all you have to bring is a keyword called actor, followed by your curly brackets. And if you want to declare variable, let's say let's declare variable called number. So in order to declare variable, you bring a variable keyword back keyword and the name of the variable let's see my number and create it to the, the number uh, uh, semicolon so this is how we declare variables in motoko and maybe if you want to replace or override the number all you have to do is to bring the name of your number so my number and we blink our colon equal the next number let's say 20 so here we have override or if we replace the 10 with 20 and in Motoku if you want to console log or print something onto your terminal there, there is an import that you have to import before you see the print function in Motoku and in order to use it, let's import it and if we want to import it, we'll type our import and the, the name of this function is called debug and here you will bring mo for otoku colon this slash the name of this thing which is called debug And after it's done, all we have to do is when we want to go do something, we just have to bring our debug dot print and our brackets. So here, let's say we want to print simple thing like let's say my name somewhere. So in order to show this the terminal you have to open our terminal so if you don't know how to open your terminal 
you see this thing at the top you tap on terminal and you run new terminal and it's going to open the terminal for you and first we have to start our Otoku project and in order to start we type EFS start and whilst it's starting let's open another terminal beside this terminal and here is where we are going to deploy our project and in order to deploy that DFS deploy and sorry deploy and we tap enter so after this has done deploying we are going to see that whatever we go to log inside our code will be printed over here inside our terminal so let's wait and here we can see the sample is printed over here as this thing is done let's see if you want to also print a variable then you, you just can't clear this one and come and paste it inside here to print it it doesn't work like that in order to print a number in motoku all you have to do is inside the print dot uh, debug dot print you have to bring another debug underscore show and you bring your bracket and the name of the variable you want to print over inside it so but you have to make sure this debug is starting with a small letter so after that we can deploy our project again and see it printed over here so let's see so now you can see that the variable 20 is printed over here so this is all about variable and one last thing about variable is we have another way of declaring variable which is using the let keyword let's say let id is equal to let's say this number and whenever we use the let keyword it means that the variable that we created can never be changed and let's let's try to override this variable or change it and see so id colon equal let's say this number and we are going to see an error unexpected mutation assignment which means we can never replace an L ID or a variable with LX. Thank you for watching my video and don't forget to like, subscribe and share and I'll see you in my next video.